I'm Jess, I'm a licensed psychologist, and we're talking about social media guidelines for psychologists. Today we're talking about guideline 2.5, which states, psychologists are aware of the benefits of establishing a policy regarding their participation in social media and discussing this policy and their use of social media as part of the informed consent process with clients. Unlike what has been spreading on the media recently regarding social media policies, a psychologist's social media policy is not the client giving consent to the psychologist to use what they discuss in therapy sessions on social media. A social media policy is put in place to protect both the client and the psychologist when it comes to the realm of social media. This policy may include information about the lack of confidentiality on social media. It may include information around boundaries with regard to following, commenting, direct messaging, or otherwise engaging with the psychologist on social media. It may also include information about social media not being therapy and not being used as such. And as I mentioned when talking about guideline 2.3, it also may include something explicitly about the psychologist and the client not searching for one another on social media. It's important that this policy is put in place and discussed not only during the first session, but also throughout the therapeutic relationship to protect both the client and the psychologist.